everybody welcome to team catfish video we are headed down to lake texoma and this march to fish with one of my favorite catfish guides cody mullinex former world record holder down there on lake texoma hey we've had a great trip and i uh, hope some of these tips help you put some more catfish in the boat it was plenty cold out there on lake texoma but cody can get it done and make sure you listen for his contact information as we wind up this video. Hey now, we've finally located some fish. I think we've seen about half a lake deck, so I'm about 45,000 acres since we took off this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but Cody's found us some catfish. We're in 11 foot of water. He's running his structure skin, and you can see these fish out here, and you can see a little bit of bait fish, but when you see these uh, fish up off the bottom in the shadows, that's definitely fish, and that's what you're calling catfish, right, Cody? Yes. All right, so now what are we gonna do? We gonna anchor up and we're gonna be anchor fishing today. Anchor fishing. Yep. Okay. Well, we're gonna get uh, get set up and get these Thundercat rods out. See if we can catch some of these big catfish that just pulled up off the bottom here a little bit. Good one. That's why you come fish with Cody. You want to catch a big blue cat? Oh yeah. How big you think he is, Cody? Oh, he's probably 24, maybe. 24, 25 pounds? Yeah. Hey, that's all right. Well, we're gonna oh, yeah. sna snap a few pictures of him, but. He come off of one of the rods we cast out there the farthest. There you got go. got a perfect hook set here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can see the hook completely done its job. It went in the side of the mouth here and uh, pierced all the way through. Oh, double action's a good hook. You've yeah. caught thousands of fish on them. Yeah, I trust them. They're, they're a good hook to use. Okay. All right, now Cody's getting ready to cut this big fish loose. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get one a little bit bigger, but if we ha if we don't, that is a beautiful catfish here in March at Lake Texoma. Hey, oh yeah, hook me up, brother. Boy, he's coming at us. He didn't get the anchor. There, I caught him. Do he? Oh, he's going right at that anchor rope. He's just it? coming right at the anchor rope. All right. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, I'll holler at you. Now, I used that reel down hook set method to catch that fish. He was coming at us, and he was coming right at the anchor rope. If you would have tried to stand up and hook that fish, you'd have never caught him. Nice catfish, Cody. All right. Another beautiful fish. That could that one come on the chunks or the long one? Yeah, these come on. This this fish right here come on the chunks. Look, look at what he threw up right there in the water. Yeah, that's that's not one of his cut shad. That's a shad that he just he just spit up. Sweet. There you go. Look at here. Early season March catfish here on Lake Texoma. Nothing in the world wrong with that, folks. I hope you're enjoying the video because I'm really enjoying catching the catfish. Oh yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna cut him loose. Ryan's getting ready to launch one of the gold rings. Wee! Listen to that puppy go. Where's this one going? It's, it's headed east. 
Looks All right, like let's shade. see the proper form on this deal. Proper like technique. Look at that. That's the squealer. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming demon. I think we caught one. here in a minute. I think we caught one on the squealer a minute oh, yeah. ago, didn't we? It's a hot rod. Yeah, that draws them in. That that's a patented sound Cody's got going. Let's get the proper casting technique down on this spinning rod here. There she goes. Wee. Hey, the best selling product that we have at Team Catfish is the Dead Red Blood Spray. Whoops, lid about come off that. And uh, one of the questions we get asked all the time too is how do you fish the Dead Red Blood Spray? What do you do with it? Well, you can use it two different ways. When you're baiting your, baiting your shad, um, it was primarily designed to spray on your spray on your shad. Kind of turns it, gives it a blood red look. And uh, if you fillet your shad like that, when you reel that shad back in out of the water, if it's all you got all the blood and the oil washed out of it, you just take the dead red and you spray her down like that, and you kind of let that soak. Um, now one of the things that uh, folks have been doing for years with the dead red spray is they've been marinating their bait. They've been marinating shad, shrimp, skipjacks, uh, bluegills, whatever you use, they take that dead red and they'll put it in a bag like this and some of them soak their stuff overnight and they'll just take the, take the lid off that and pour a little bit in there and uh, they'll let that stuff set, kind of squish it up. They'll let that dead red soak into that shad and we're gonna let this set here. Uh, and so Cody was out of dead red so I brought him a case of it and uh, we're gonna let this soak and um, he showed you how to, he put that long bait on there a minute ago but you also put some, some uh, chunks on too, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so you'll probably see us put some of this dead red uh, chunk bait on here as soon as we catch a fish on one of these other rods. He's under the boat. And a losing. Look here. Wee. Look here. Keep him out of the acre. Keep him out of the acre. The Cody said he was going to bring it to a little fish hole, and look what he did. Fighting good. Good Lord, he's <laughs> tearing my boat up. Nice fish. He's got the old thunder kit bent. Wee! There he goes. That's what we like to see. Uh oh, got this rod back. Oh, he just popped that rod in the back back there. Get that fight out of him, we'll get him in here. Yeah. Maybe I can tame him down here a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> he the man. Hold up your big old blue cat there, big fella. Get a little more slime on that coat. Now how about that? Stick your fin up, mister. Woo. How big is that one, Cody? I don't know, Jeff. I think you might go what? I don't know. You you see him all the time. This guy sees a big 20, old 28 pound, 26 pound. Yeah. You coming at the boat? Yeah, he's this, charging. This fish just Here hooked he himself. He just ripped out, dragged Cody, grabbed the rod, and we don't know how big he is because he's been running at the boat the whole time. Oh, another nice fish. Woo-wee! He's probably going to get mad here in a minute. Look at that 
big old pretty blue catfish got the rod pulled in the water under the boat that's what happens you get run at the boat here folks they get right up here beside the boat and you got a tiger by the tail and you don't want to pull them in the water or in the boat green do you no they'll whip they just beat, beat you up you. just beat you up Get, the, fish grip. get oh. the fish grip on that big rascal. All right, I think we got him. Ryan showed him who's the boss. Nice oh, yeah. fish. That's nice. Well, Cody catches the big ones. He sets by the right, the right rods. Look at there. Oh, I think I lost my hat in between all that. Look at there. How big is that one, Cody? Oh, he's in the high 30s, I think. Nice fish. Or, or a 32. I'm going to call him a 32. 32. Now, Cody doesn't get the big eye on these fish, folks. I'm telling you. He, he'll he underestimate them a little bit. But that is one fine-looking blue catfish. We're going to snap some photos of him and cut him loose. Hey, now for years we've been uh, showing you how to rig up with the Team Catfish Terminal Tackle, and uh, today's no different. You know, I we continually get asked questions and and in our videos about how do you rig up using a sinker slide, a sinker bumper, double action hook, and what kind of uh, weights do you use? How do you rig your weights? So on all these videos, we really like to put together uh, a clip that shows how we rig this stuff up. Now, the first thing we're going to do on our tug-of-war braided line, uh, this, this is a 80-pound braided line. It's, it's on a gold ring, uh, 400 reel. We have this particular rod right here is the medium action rod, two-piece medium action casting. And uh, we're going to go uh, with the number six sinker slide. We're going to put that on our braid first. That slides up and down your line. You clip your sinkers on that. Then we're going to go to a sinker bumper. And this is a soft rubber bumper. Remember, they're always better than a bead. They're soft. Beads are hard, and beads can damage your knots, and beads can damage your lead. Then we're going to go to a swivel. Not a real big swivel, but it just I think Cody has some Spro swivels. Uh, just good quality, good quality swivel. We're going to go in here. And we're going to do the old grandma's knot, the knot that I've showed everybody how to tie for years and years. Uh, we're going to make a loop. We're going to go around that loop about five times and then we're going to take our tag end and go right back through those two holes we're going to pull it all tight right up there and pull it down on top of your swivel kind of cinch it up cinch it up again and you're going to want to trim that tag end off like that now from here we've got a leader tied with an 8 dot double action hook uh, our, one of our best selling hooks uh, Cody uses a lot of 8 aught double actions here on Texoma for these uh, big blues. And uh, we're just going to do the same knot, the grandma knot. There's my phone, it never fails. One, two, three, four times on this big heavy leader. We're going to pull that all tight. Cinch that down. Now you can see I bit that pretty hard. You want to cinch that top of that knot down. That big heavy monofilament won't tighten up quite as easy as that braid. And then we're going to just leave a little bit sticking out there on the end of that. And the be beautiful thing about this rig is when old Mr. Whisker grabs a hold of that bait, it just, saw, it just slides right through there. And the line does. And then you can clip your sinkers off and on right here. We're going to use a three ounce sinker today. That one's got a little bit of burr in it. I'll get that opened up. And uh, you just clip that sinker right on there. And you can change sinker sizes up to 16 ounces from a half ounce to 16 ounces with that sinker slide. And you can get those uh, sinker slides and you can get this lead at teamcatfish.com or cheapsinkers.com. We sell tons and tons of lead at CheapSinkers.com, so if you're looking for sinkers, you might want to check us out. we got great shipping rates. So that is our catfish rig.
and uh, ADOT double action, heavy leader, swivel, sinker bumper, sinker slide, and a three ounce sinker. And we're going to hook a shad on here. How, uh, Cody, give me a shad. How are you hooking these shad on here? Well, with these <coughs> three and four inch shad, you can hook them different ways. You can show them how you're going to hook you that. Can, uh, I just generally just go right through here by the eye and then just hook it in the top part of that head where it's real hard and it's it hangs on there good it's tough to get it off this would be a good good method for you know fishing with for big blues okay with not such quite big bait now the one of the important things that people do wrong with catfish hooks is they crowd the gap don't they yes. they try to crowd that gap they try to put all that bait up in that gap in that hook and your hook's not designed to work like that. You can see Cody has just barely got that bait hanging on there. And when that catfish grabs that, you want that all the, as much hook exposed as possible, don't you, Cody? Yeah, that's very important. Yeah, don't don't fill this area up with bait right here. Just hook your bait on big enough or deep enough to get it cast out in the water. Now, Cody, uh, tell everybody kind of how you, how we're setting here. We're anchored, but um, what kind of uh, tactic are you using? How are you surrounding your boat? Well, I'm just scattering my poles out, you know, just covering a wide area here. Uh, just, uh... You just kind of looking for active fish on the flat? Yeah, we got a lot of fish in here. There's bait scattered out through here. We're just on a flat, and... Uh, how, long, how long will we sit here? We'll sit here for at least 45 minutes, you yeah. know. To give them an opportunity to buy it. If they don't buy it, we'll uh, move here and there until we until we start getting the bite going. All right. Well, Cody hasn't had a chance to use our gold ring reels yet. He's used our rods for years and years. So I'm gonna let him cast this gold ring reel and see if he likes it. All right. Let her eat. Nice. Cody, they're getting heavier. Fat jawed booger. Hook's buried up in there, even though it didn't come all the way through. But look how deep it's got that. Oh, yeah, double action smoked him right there in the corner of the mouth. Fish is heavy. It takes a good hook to deal with them big heavy bones like that. Uh, well, that one's hooked. Got my finger. <laughs> mean. Yeah, they like him. Fast. Oh no, oh. he chomp you? Yeah, he was chomping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, he's, oh he's, he didn't mean here, Come rest. here, hold your fish. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. That was mean. That's dandy. Yep. Sweet. Well, you just keep putting this on them, son. Well, as long as they keep biting. We'll keep reeling. Oh man, that feels like a big one. That feels like a big one. Woo wee! Another nice fish. All right. Right under the boat. He ain't done quite yet. I 
keep thinking he's gonna wear out. All right. Another nice blue catfish. Lake Texoma, Cody Molinex. Team Catfish Tackle's doing its job. Blood Spray's doing its job. Cody's doing his job. And we're catching how many fish we got now? I believe we caught three or four nice fish. Three or four really nice fish. Thanks for watching our videos, everybody. We've had a great time here at Lake Texoma with Cody Molinex. Ryan Nagy from Primetime Catfishing is running the camera for us and taking the photos and I tell you what it's a lot of fun to come out with these professionals and and let them help us film these videos how can people get a hold of you Cody uh, you can find me on Facebook uh, find me on the internet you can, on Facebook or the internet you can go to texascatfishingguide.com or you can get a hold of me at my cell number it's 903-815-0273 I've been fishing with Cody a lot of years. We've had a lot of good videos with him. And uh, I tell you, it's a pleasure to come out in this big Falcon boat, come out on Lake Texoma with this good equipment. You're gonna be comfortable, gonna be safe. Make sure if you're down in the Dallas area that you check for Cody Molinex at Lake Texoma. Thanks for watching our videos. <laughs>